Because you still have increase in insulin, you still can have those effects from insulin that will, that will go ahead and cause these, these other effects that we were talking about seasonally and, and how it affects your brain. So it's the rate at which we get these things to happen, I think, that's more important. And just one more comment about all of this. It's great to look at our evolutionary history, but one always has to keep in mind that the natural events that we derive from weren't necessarily there to allow us to live a long, healthy, post-reproductive lifespan. Our evolution and our physiology is allowed, uh, is, is, is there and has evolved to maximize our reproductive success up until our reproductive age. Post-reproductively, nature just doesn't give a damn about us. You know, and so what we have to do is use as much science as we can to uh, ascertain what nature's tricks are that allowed us to be healthy until reproductive age and carry them beyond reproductive age. And those scientific tricks have to do with altering genetic expression as some of the uh, studies I showed yesterday that they're able to do in labs around the world now by keeping insulin levels quite low and keeping leptin levels low and keeping mTOR levels low. And if you do that, you completely alter your genetic expression to upregulate maintenance and repair, which then allows for much greater health. And it, it's not going to matter where the, the starches come from. You know, that, that's just our own figment of imagination, what we call certain foods, as you were saying. It's going to turn into glucose, and it's going to raise insulin, and it's going to turn off the maintenance and repair and turn up cellular reproduction, which can increase your risk of cancer. And so this will happen everywhere. And so, again, just keep in mind what, what nature's purpose is. And again, it's not necessarily a long, healthy lifespan. We've got to do that ourselves. I, um, I disagree with Dr. Rosedale on the long lifespan and that we're not selected for that. I think it's very clear women go through menopause, and it's in a lot of hunter-gatherer societies, it's very common for women to live two or three decades past menopause. Obviously, if we're only selected for our own reproductive fitness, um, that well, wouldn't would, happen. Would so we're, we're selected to help to, um, you know, to live a long time because we have to pass on a lot of cultural knowledge to our very young children who take a long time growing up. Um, so I, I do personally think that, that we're selected to live you know, for the 70, 80 years, and that was certainly past a woman's re uh, personal reproductive fitness. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's what we're selected for. Sure, we have a little extra years so we can take care of our young so that it aids in their reproduction. So when I'm saying our, I don't mean our personal, I mean humanity's lifespan okay. is up to 70 years on average or so, maybe 80 years, maximum is 110. By laboratory standards, that's not all that great compared to what they're able to do to laboratory animals by keeping insulin signaling and mTOR signaling and leptin signaling quite low. They're able to extend that quite dramatically. Well, so they've, yes, they've we done, have... They've done human experiments with that sometimes um, inadvertently, and people are generally, not necessarily with the, a very low ketogenic diet, but certainly with the low calorie, um, calorie restriction, um, semi-starvation diets, people are absolutely miserable and um, get very unhealthy. And personally, I think we have two fuel-burning capacities. We have a fat-burning capacity. We have a ketosis. Most people who are medically, or metabolically healthy wake up in the morning in ketosis. Um, and we also have a sugar-burning capacity, um, a glycolytic capacity. And, uh, you know, I ate a banana this morning, and I feel really comfortable with that. Right. <laughs> let, 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 let me try. We, we've got a, absolutely. We've got a